That is red-eyed tuna. I'm gonna show you my two favorite ways to make it. Check it out. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this in half. So this piece is gonna be cut into little chunks and put into our sriracha and mayonnaise to go on top of our crispy rice cakes. This piece here, we're making ahi tuna. First thing I do is use a little toasted sesame oil as my binder, rub that around. We're going in with two of the best seasonings you're ever gonna have, you guys. Check it out, this is our crunchy seasoning. It's got sesame seeds, big pieces of garlic, onion in there. Look at this, look at those ingredients. We're gonna do a little coating of that, pat it in. Then we're also gonna use the Primo, that's the silver top. You can see it's got some nice chunks of black pepper and it's also got the black sesame seeds in there, some little poppy seeds, all kinds of premium ingredients. So now we got us a nice crust on there. We're gonna flip it over and do the same to the other side. Now we got our tuna all seasoned up. You can either let it sit out for about 45 minutes, but mine's already been sitting out for 45 minutes because it's key that you have it to a room temperature. All right, now let's get over here. You're gonna need one of these. This is a stainless steel pan, my friends. We're gonna get this heated up to a high temperature. All right, pan's nice and hot. We're going in with grapeseed oil because it's great for high heat cooking. Go straight in with the tuna. It's been exactly 50 seconds, not one minute. We're going to give it a flip. It's been another 50 seconds. Look at this, perfect crust on there. You can serve this right now, it'll be red on the inside, but I like to throw it in the fridge and get it cold. While that tuna is chilling in the fridge, I'm gonna show you how to make the next dish. It starts out with making your rice. So when making sushi rice, you wanna make sure you buy sushi rice. And always read the directions because they're different on all different brands. I'm telling you, this one says one and a half ounce, one and a half cup of rice to two cups of water. And it says, just let that sit to the side for 15 minutes. We're not straining it. We're just gonna let it sit to the side for 15 minutes. Now it's time to go on and get this tuna cut up. We're just gonna cut this up into small little pieces, turn it sideways and cut it into little squares. Once you got your tuna all cut up in your little squares, just throw them into a bowl. We're gonna use the Japanese mayonnaise, squeeze of that, and some sriracha, squeeze of that. Now we're gonna add a little bit of the Dano's Crunchy that mixed up together that was easy literally took me five minutes now our tuna's ready now let's finish cooking the rice all right our rice is done now this is a 8 by 11 pyrex dish i take our rice and just fill it up in here get it evened out flattened out pressed down on the edges this is the coolest part watch this Did you see how quick that happened spray your knife with a little oil that's gonna keep all the rice from sticking to the blade. And now we just cut up into our little pieces. Now we got all our little rice cakes cut up. Simply and gently pick them up and place them in your air fryer. All right, now in we go. 400 degrees for 10 minutes. That's usually the magic number. While your rice is getting crispy, we're gonna go on and cut us an avocado. Look, you guys, don't use a knife to do like that. You might end up in the hospital. Just use your thumb and simply pop it out. So I like to take my knife and score the avocado like this, like a checkerboard. See, we have some nice little chunks of avocado. That literally took me about 30 seconds and that's what you want it looking like. All right, it's been 10 minutes. Hmm, I'm gonna give it another three, four minutes. Need some more time. Look at this, y'all. We got our ahi tuna there and we got our crispy little rice cakes frying up in our air fryer. All right. It's time to plate this bad boy up. So we're gonna slice it thin, perfect. That's exactly what you wanna see. So you can totally go soy sauce and wasabi or a nice peanut sauce. Mmm, that's my favorite, but wait till you see this. All right, look at that. Now they're crispy. This is how you do it. You don't wanna do too much of the avocado. Just put a nice little scoop on there, get a nice little even layer. We can go on and set that on our serving tray. I like to get my scoop of tuna like this and use two spoons, kind of slide it right on top, just like that. Now we simply just repeat the process. Get you a little wasabi, go right on top. Grab that crunchy Danos, give it a light sprinkle. And the last thing, a little soy sauce. All right, now it's time for my favorite part. Let's get a bite. Mm-hmm, that 
is 100% one of the best things you'll ever put in your mouth. Wow. Yum, yum. Get you some. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Hope you're having a great day. Leave a like. Leave a comment. We'll see you next time. Keep sprinkling, my friends. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm.